For our next example, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to start using Mechanism to animate UI elements. And we're going to start off the button, and it is so simple. It's actually built into Mechanism and the UI system. So let's just go ahead, uh, Marty in 2D mode. So I'm going to go ahead and create a button right there. And we're just going to jump right down to the button script here. And we notice the transitions here. We have color tint by default. Uh, we're going to switch to animation. And it gives us these four triggers, uh, normal, highlighted, pressed, disabled. I tend to rename these. For this, I'm just going to keep them the way they are. But normally, I go ahead and use this as my idle, um, hover, click, and disable. But we'll just keep them the way they are. We're going to have Unity auto-generate these nodes for us in Mechanism. So we're going to go ahead and hit auto-generate. It runs off. It uh, goes ahead and wants to create this new animation controller. And I'm going to call it animated button. And let's just save it to where I want it. There we go. And we see right here that we actually have the controller now. And if we open that up, it actually comes with four animations on it. So let's open this in Mechanism. And here we go. It's a little messy. I like to keep my spaghetti a little bit more sorted. So I'm just going to move this and just quickly sort it. Uh, I usually like it like this. Uh, pressed and then disable. Again, something small like this, it, it doesn't matter too much. It's just kind of an OCD thing. I just like my lines as straight as possible. Anyway, so we have these four different animations associated with it. And if we come to our animation window and select our button, we actually have access to all of them here. So what can we animate? Well, pretty much any component attached to the button. Not every component's animatable. Animatable? Animated? Double? Can have animations? <laughs> anyway, not everyone can, but most can. So let's go, we'll select the button. We'll click Add Property and one, two, three, four. So we have four things that can be animated including the animator itself. So one, two, three, so we can't animate the canvas render, but there's nothing on the canvas render to do. I am curious about text. Is active, it's, okay. We can actually, okay, color. That's cool, so what do we wanna do for our click event? For click event, let's just make the button grow and shrink again. That's something simple. So we're gonna go into the rec transform. Uh, let's just do scale. And to start off with, it's going to be 111. I'm going to end in 111. Uh, I'm actually going to bring this down. I want the animation to be a little quicker. And then at, uh, whoa. Come on, move. Uh, right about here, I'm going to add another key. And this one here is the one I want at 111. This one here, I want it to be different. I want it to be, uh, let's do a 50% increase, so 1.5. 1.5, and of course 1.5 on the C will make no difference as there is no depth. And if we go ahead, we'll stop the play. That's the animation. And of course, we've looked at the curves before. You can go in and play around with the curves, add different, uh, maybe nice, um, what are you, easing in and easing out. I'll let you play with that if you want. I'm gonna go back to my dope sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and save this off. And without even doing anything, we can go ahead and hit play. I'm actually gonna switch over to the animator. And I accidentally animated the normal. Uh, didn't expect me not to make a mistake, right? Yeah, I did animate the normal. Uh, for normal, I don't want anything. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I meant to actually animate the pressed, but well, we are not to do it, right? So I'm gonna come into pressed. We're gonna go to right here. Uh, we still have scale. No, we're still on normal. Pressed. There we go. We'll go ahead, we'll grab the rec transform. We're gonna grab our scale. Uh, take that one, move it into a tenth. Come over to two tenths. I'm gonna add another key. This one here is 1.5. 1.5. We can hit play. Look at it in the scene, exactly the way we want it. Stop play, stop record, hit play. I'm actually going to go over to the animator window so we can see that it's by default going over here. And if we come over and look at the parameters, we actually have everything set up as a trigger. So the way it, it's actually working with Mechanism is it's triggering these events. 
Well, I keep calling them events, but they're not. They're just triggering the states. So if we come over and we hover on it, we see it goes into the, the highlighted state, what we haven't done anything with. But when we click it, we get that bounce, right? That's pretty cool. Let's do one more quick one for the highlighted. Let's make it um, change color. Just one more quick example. So we'll come in, make sure we got the button selected. I'm going to come down. Uh, I want the scene view so I can see it. And we're going to take the highlighted. And I'm going to do the exact same thing, except uh, well, it's an image, right? Yeah, color. Exact same thing. I want it to be fairly quick. Should actually be quicker than this, but this is fine for what I want to do. And we'll go ahead, we'll leave it white, white, and in the center here, we notice that color is red. That means that's what we can edit. Let's do an orange. There we go. We'll stop record, hit play. There we go. So as it hovers, it'll change to orange. Oh, a flash orange. So we'll stop record, hit play. Look at that. It flashes orange right out of the box. So animating a button, super simple. In the next video, let's go ahead and start taking a look at how to animate some of these other elements. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'd be a pretty chatty guy over there when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. When I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears.